Hello Stampers! Welcome to my 3D Thursday video. Um, today I thought I would bring you along with me as I'm making the little um, table gifts for my upcoming crop. Um, I hold my crop once a month and I always like to do little fun little table gifts um, for the people that come to my crop. So this is what I'm making this month. This is um, one of our Stampin' Up! pillow boxes. They are called craft pillow boxes and you get 10 of them in a package. Um, and they're just a great size so I thought it would be um, just a really fun thing to use um, for this month's gift. So this is what I'm doing and so let's get started. So first off, you are going to need one of the pillow boxes, okay? And they are fabulous boxes. Um, they're nice and thick and sturdy, <coughs> and they've already been scored for you. So all you do is you kind of pop it open a little bit. You take a side that does not have the little cutout, and you just kind of fold it down, okay? Just like that. Then you're going to flip it the other way, take the one that does have the notch, and do it again. And that's it. That's how you make the box. Flip it over, do the same thing again, and the side with the notch. And the side with the notch comes is always on top, only because that makes it easier for you to get open when you're ready to open it, okay? So now what we're going to use is I'm going to take one of my colored doilies that are in the catalog. Um, I love these. They are such pretty colors. Um, and in fact, let me open it up and show you the colors there are. Um, so you actually get... Let's pull out my catalog here. 24 doilies, six each and the four colors. So we've got Coastal Cabana, just this color right here. We've got Flirty Flamingo, which is the pinky color. We've got Grapefruit Grove, okay? And then this green that I used on this box um, is the Old Olive. So you get six of each of the four of them. Um, and they're so pretty and so cute for only $4.50. Okay, so a super, super deal. Love it. So I am going to take a Coastal Cabana one, and I'm just going to use my Tombow glue. And I don't want the whole thing glued down, so I'm just going to do a couple of the things on the edge here, a little bit in the middle, and then a little bit on the top. And the reason I'm doing that is because then I can kind of go like that, and hold it down for a minute and it's going to hold itself um, in place very nicely okay next what I'd like to do is um, use some ribbon so since um, I wanted to kind of coordinate with the colors that were in uh, the doilies so I'm going to be using oops yeah grapefruit grove but the grapefruit grove uh, ribbon that we have right now okay this is our grow gain ribbon that is in the end colors so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm just going to attach one to the end of my ribbon and I am going to attach the ribbon right in the middle of my doily like that, okay? Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around and then I need another glue dot. I'm going to put it just right on top of where the last one was, wrap my ribbon up and just attach it just like that, okay? Now I kind of wanted to do a little loop-de-loo just so you can see a little bit more of it. So I'm gonna take a third glue dot put that right up there on top and I'm just going to take my ribbon and kind of loop it like that okay there's no particular specific way to, that you have to do it I just kind of looped it okay cut it off and that is because then it just kind of has a little bit of something when you add your flower so th so the flower I'm going to use one of my new favorite stamp sets I love this pop of petals and it's got all different um, flowers on it and it has a coordinating punch that goes with it okay um, and I love these it kind of took the place of flower shop that we used to have so I just picked out one of the flower things and a little trick that I did on the back of my stamps, because I don't put my labels on there, but on the back of my stamp, I put, can you see that B right there? So that is the bottom. When I stamp the stamp and when my customers stamp the stamp, the B needs to be on the bottom. That way it is going to coordinate with the punch to make it super easy. Because see how the petals are a little different on the punch? So you have to get it right um, to be able to punch it out. 
so I'm going to open up my grapefruit grove and I want my flowers to have a little bit of different color. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it once at full strength and then stamp it again. Okay, and you can see it just gives it a monochromatic look, um, but it kind of gives it a different shade. So now you'll see when I'm getting ready to use my punch, it lines up perfectly. The shape of the petals are all in the right spot so that I can very easily punch out my flower. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Tombow glue. I want my dark flower on the bottom and I'm just going to lay that right there. Now I thought the middle needed a little something to pop it up a little bit, so I decided to use some of our gold faceted gems from the catalog, and I really like these. Um, they're great for daisy centers, but I am going to use one of these right in the middle of my flower, just like that. So now to get my flower stuck down, back to my Tombow glue. I'm going to put a pretty good dollop of glue there um, because I want it to be able to stick and stay. So I'm just going to do that and pop that and there you go. There is one of our pillow boxes um, and I'm just going to fill it with some candy, um, maybe some shredded paper and I think they will be super cute as little table gifts. So thanks for stopping by.